Damn it, Tito. Another one? What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Matt Gifted Hands back to you with another haircut tutorial. And as you can tell off rip, I went ahead and saturated my client's hair with some water mixed with some hair tonic to clean the hair and scalp to get rid of any kind of debris or leftover hair product that was in his hair. I like to mix up the hair tonic in uh, the water bottle. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, look at the quality of this video. I'm using my old setup, the Nikon D3200 50 millimeter lens. 1.4 sigma and that 1.4 sigma allows the bokeh in the background to be blurry so that's why the subject is really focused and you know the background is pretty blurry so what i went ahead and did was i'm just sectioning the hair i went from the from the front of his hair all the way to the back and now i'm connecting it on the sides and i'm just point cutting along with removing some length but he wanted some texture up top and more of a shorter haircut, kind of like a full hog look and also a skin fade on the sides. And what I'm gonna do with his skin fade is I'm gonna contour the shape of his head. So I'm going to start low in the front and drop it towards the back. That way I can keep the occipital bone area pretty dark and blend it into the bulk up top. Whenever you Whenever you create your first guideline, you want to make sure it's clean, neat, and even all the way around. I'm using my Gamma Ergos lever all the way open to create my first panel. And that's going to be about half of an inch to an inch. Uh, if you've watched my channel long enough, you know I like to have a more spreaded blend. So if, it's, if the client comes in to ask for like a low fade, to me, a low fade is where I start my first guideline and I try to blend it to where it's still kind of low, but I like to stretch my blend so it doesn't look too compressed either. Um, so with the lever all the way open, we're gonna start moving the lever to the middle position and then closing it to remove that first panel. And always have a, a brush or a comb in the opposite hand to remove any kind of debris. And yes, if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notif notification bell. Whenever I drop a new video, you are notified. So make sure you hit that notification bell. Like, share, comment. It seems like my last video, my last video y'all loved, uh, the pushback lineup, which is kind of messed up, man. <laughs> I put out so much heat with these haircut tutorials, but then as soon as I push back my lineup, Y'all like it. <laughs> it's all good. It's all love. I enjoyed making that video for you guys. So same thing, guys, with the number one guard lever open, put it in the middle and then close it. And then we're going to jump to my two guard. So I like to go from no guard, one guard to a two guard. With the two guard, I like to start with the lever open again, put it in the middle and then close it. Now, whatever's left behind, you take your one and a half guard and remove that right underneath the two. And the reason why I like to do from one to two is because I feel like there's still some type of gradiency between a one and a half guard and a two guard. I know some barbers like to skip guards. However, this is just the system that works for me. And I, honestly, I've just been doing it since barber college. So why fix it if it ain't broken? I've tried numerous, numerous systems, but I it, this is just what, what works for me. So. It's always cool to look at other YouTubers and YouTube barbers or even just barbers in your shop and where you're, wherever you're at and take those tips and tricks and put it into your own system. Um, because what works for me is not gonna work for the next person, but to take those little ideas, right, and put it into your system, it's, it's always good. So same steps, guys. I go from my two guard back to my one and a half and then I'm gonna go to my three guard and I believe my three guard shoots right into the bulk up top. And so basically now what we're doing is we're blending down. So we've already created our guidelines and everything, but now we're blending down. 
his hair is a little bit patchy guys you can you can see right here and towards the front of his hairline it, it's lighter than the back um, so you always want to give that illusion that everything's proportionate so work more towards the back area than the front and everything will connect But I am glad to be back in the shop, guys. It, it feels great. It feels amazing. If you follow my journey, you've, you've known I've always rocked heavyweight headlines. I moved from San Antonio, Texas to Tampa Bay for headlines, uh, along with, you know, coming out here and trying to make a, a better life for me and my family. And, and it turned into 10 years. It turned into 10 years of me being here. It turned into a journey of my barbering career, um, you know, going into a suite and for almost three years and, and now getting into the back to the barbershop it's uh it's amazing man what it, what being around like-minded individuals does i felt so out of the loop i was asking questions about all the new clippers that they have now in the shop here where i'm at and i just feel so lost because i just haven't i've been you know rocking with the same clipper so hopefully y'all guys get to see me use some new tools and and stuff like that all right, guys, so what I'm doing right here was I was just doing shear over comb to uh, remove a little bit of weight. But this thing right here, guys, this Velcro patch has been out for a while now. But my gosh, this thing saves lives. It's it's so super, com like, easy to use, right? It it, it holds the hair down out of, out of your way. And it's just a Velcro patch. Like, why couldn't I have thought about this? <laughs> But that lineup is coming out crispy. You could tell he already had like a kind of like a tapered lineup in the front. That's what we've always done then. And we're just keeping it pretty natural but crispy at the same time. And then we're going to follow it through with some razor work. And guys, I'm going to show you the finished product. I hope you enjoyed this haircut tutorial. There's a little bit of a detail, some extra time that I had. So we're going to apply that 245 clay. The best hair clay on the market, if you ask me. And we are trying to get people to go to Amazon and we want the, the Amazon store to be the best place to purchase it. So. so yeah, this is the finished product. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment. And as always, Team Gifted, stay gifted.